All my friends were already doing it and they told me it was fun and it wasn't that bad for you, so I figured why not try it. It's something the FDA is calling an epidemic among teens. They say that around 30% of teens in Colorado are vaping, which I think is a bit of an epidemic. Because of these numbers released by the Colorado Department of Public Health, Governor Hickenlooper responded by signing an executive order. They want to start checking more often to see if vape shops are selling to minors. Shauna, the manager of Denver Vapor, is aware of what Hickenlooper is doing. I'm totally fine with that. Um, every single employee that works here knows to card everybody, and so um, if they want to check on the vape shops and make sure we're not selling to minors, I think that's great. Ooh, okay. right on the dot. Yep. Here's the gist of Hickenlooper's executive order. Double the number of compliance checks on vape shops to see if they're selling to minors and for public health to issue health advisories on products. I don't think that cracking down on selling to younger kids specifically will really do anything. There's always, uh, especially in high school, easy access to 18 year olds who are more than willing to go buy anything for you. We found this kid. I don't really know anyone who hasn't done it. Just turned 18 three weeks ago, who says he's been vaping since sophomore year. He asked us not to show his face. There's a couple stores that don't card, uh, no matter how long young you look. So I would just either get one of my senior friends to buy it or go to one of those stores. We do occasionally get teenagers that come in and try to get a vape. There's one more piece to Hickenlooper's executive order. He recommends raising the vaping age to 21, something our state legislature will have to discuss when they return to work next year. In Denver, Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7.